Trigve, you old hound. How are you? Eivor, a friend of old is a good omen. Look at this. Your chin grass might be mistaken for hedges now. Ah, but a healthy Jarl beard it is not. And what of Vili? I was happy to get his message. I stand in Vili's place today. He and his father have gone to Ulkathorpe to stave off an invasion of Picts. We've laid a long siege, and Hemingurial looks to finish the job. I have not fought beside Vili and his father since we were young. They have my blade if they need it. In spite of these war cries, you should know that Vili's father is more frail than last you saw him. How could that be? Hemingurial is an ox. So he is, and he'll be pleased to skull with the moon in his jaws at the sight of you. Come, the swiftest path is by river, but these waters are hostile to Norsemen. You bring good luck with you. We could guide the sail steeds downstream. I'm ready for whatever danger awaits. Prepare your convoy, and we'll be off. Our Jarl has waited long enough. We follow the wolf kissed to the encampment. Freya's kiss. You came. Welcome. Your son sent for me, Hemingar Jarl. One of the happier messages I have had in England. I wish I could expand on this happiness with good news. But we are in the center of a storm. And yet, my old heart sings great songs at the sight of you. You look good, Eifor. Strong. Healthy. My heart sings as well. It is good to see you again. Uh, yours is a poet's heart, I am told. What a mix of spirits you have. Movement on the walls! We must end this soon, before the weather changes. The whole of my clan would be here if you called them. No need. These men are flies for swatting. Even now, Drakefi rides for Stonebird, should any Pict escape. It will all be ended by this time tomorrow. You have known me as your Jarl for an age. And I have known and loved you all since you were babes. An easy burden to bear. Let's hope you fight better than you age, old friend. You are not slurring, Vili. Have you mislaid your ale? Today, you do not fight for me. Not for each other. Today, you fight for your children. Fight so that they may grow. So they may be good and just as you are. For them, today, we take back Ulkerthorp. Trigvi and Eivor have brought us arrows and oil to bring firelight to the Picts. To feed their traps. The first to signal from the top of that tower the war chief's weapon in hand drinks my mead for the month. Thor's beard. It's good to see you, Vili. Oh, is it? Or have you come to snatch glory from my calloused hands? We can snatch glory together, unless you're too frightened to fight beside me. Oh no, this is a contest now. To the top of that tower, and the pick chief is the prize. For all times, then. And new alike. Fight, Hemingor sons. Bring victory today. For tomorrow, we feast! <laughs> You're injured. No, no, stop, stop. I'm fine. 
There is more blood here than injury. Pride cannot heal you, Hemminger. Only care and bandages. My clan fought well, did they not? You saw it. The hearts in these people. How they rallied behind their Jarl. You have that effect on men. They trust you. <coughs> and they love my son all the more. But he lacks the trust of our Danes. And I am running out of time to persuade them. You are sick. And you accept it. Unlike my son, he thinks me immortal because he must. He does not want what I have to give him. Was it Vili who summoned me? Or you, Heminger? I thought you would come faster if it was Vili's name you heard first. I need your wisdom, Mayfor. Your discretion. You have it. Of course. There will be a thing soon, in which the nobles must name a new Jarl. And I am torn. I would have my son follow in my steps, but he is reluctant. He follows his warrior's heart. Others will name Trikvi, a fine man with a mind for leadership. But his lineage is tattered, and he is less bold. Both men are honorable. But they do not hold a bearded axe to him in our Jarl. Let us not burden ourselves with the Alding choice yet. Your sight is clear and your mind is sharp. Let that guide your thinking in the days to come. Vili departs for Kinder Downfall soon. Ride with him, and talk like old friends made new. If I see any Valkyries lurking nearby, I will send them away. I can fight them off a while longer. Draw breath because of you. I thought I might have to rescue you, Vili. Had I died, it would have been my time. My fate is already spun. I'm sorry, but you cannot endanger yourselves like this, lords. You have people to lead, a future to consider. The old man has wisdom, Vili. You have the full weight of this clan on your back. My father carries that weight. I do the fighting and feasting, and I am expert at both. And it's good to have you watching my back again, Eivor. You see what I deal with, Eivor? The mind of a troll in the body of an Aesir. <laughs> Still the same arse stick as when we were children. I'll never change. This is hardly the time for lightness, you two. We have many injured to comfort. Well, that is your domain, Trigvi. I don't wish to be seen as a savior and healer all in one afternoon. The waters at Kinder Doonfall will soothe my wounds. If my father needs me, I'll be there. Vili, stop! Eivor, wait a moment. Heminga Jarl has confided in you about his health. He has. He said Vili wasn't taking it well. Vili lives in another world entirely right now. He is cracked inside, and will not face the full truth laid before him. And how are you? Have you braced yourself for what is to come? I... I have made my peace with the future, yes. Worry yourself with the wounded here. I will talk to Vili myself. 
You found my secret horn. I would be deaf to have not heard your singing. Your crow's craggle could awaken the dead. <laughs> These skirmishes with the picks, they've worn you down. Not at all. The more scars, the better the boast. I mean, look at my father. A battle-worn veteran, carved up like a goat on a spit. Not a metaphor I'd use just now. Not in his state. These waters are magnificent, no? They comfort and heal. They are Freya's gift to man. Billy, you need to face it. Your father is dying. When he departs for the corpse hall, you will take his place, as expected. The novelty of this soggy north has worn on me, Eivor. Too warm for winter living, too cold for summer. I've heard Mercia is more temperate. Dense forests, bright colors, thriving streams. Is that how it is in your settlement? You are to be Jarl, Vili. Your father expects it. The people of Snottinghamshire expect it. I only want sun on my skin and an axe in my hand. Ale and adventure. Not the staid life of a Jarl. You defy a long tradition, Vili. The son takes after his father. That is the way of things. Eivor... I have my own reasons to see you made Jarl. The Raven Clan wants friends in England. You are among my very best. You do not need me in that seat to secure an alliance. You and Sigurd are beloved here. Your father is dying, Billy. Now is the time to get your house in order. It is not my house. It is the clan's house, and the clan will decide what happens next. You have a chance to end on good terms with your father. I wasn't afforded the same luxury. Don't squander it. Billy! Billy! Come forth! Another attack? It's your father! He hasn't got long! Come to the longhouse! to that feeling and take it with you to the Hall of the Slain. You have become a great warrior, Aethorn. A warrior and a leader worth, worth song and verse. I had many good teachers, Hemingar Jarl. You, chief among them. I beg of you now. Do not let my lessons die. Pass them on. The seer is on her way, father. She has remedies for you. Cures and charms. I held you here, really. In one proud hand when you were fresh from your mother's womb. I watched you grow. Dirty haired boy, swinging sticks and running through the mud, dreaming of glory. I, I am proud of what you have become, son. <laughs> No 
Doctor, I... Uh, I... Uh, uh. Father. Billy. We must prepare for the funeral. I'll send for my clan. You call on the nobles of the Shire. Nobles have begun to arrive. Trigve needs our help to see this through. We will be at the funeral pyre, overlooking the village. Eivor. Drengur. Suniva, thank you for coming. Ah. Uh. The sight of old friends lets my heart rest easy. We came as soon as we heard, bearing gifts for Hemming Gurjab. The celebration will last many days. How soon shall we begin? The pyre's construction is underway, and all of our guests are lodged and welcomed. We could begin shortly. Good. You handled this well, Trigve. I pledged my life's oath to Hemming Gurjab. There is nothing I would not do for him. The all thing must be held when the week is out and the funeral is done. The nobles of this shire will name Vili the Jarl of our clan. This assumes they will be sober after a week of drinking and weeping. It will be a grand funeral. Father will have a clear view of his lands from here. The flames will burn bright and tall for all the shire to see. You've done well, Trigger. This was his favorite spot in the Shire. I suppose we should get started. Our guests need looking after. I will look for you later, to save you from them, once the mead has really soaked in. You are a true gift, Eivor. Thank you. Trigvi is Hemthorpe's rock. With him around, the city can keep its peace. He's a good man. I must be away for a short time, Eivor. I want to retrieve something for my father. A gift. When did you have time to make a funeral gift? <laughs> it was something I had hoped to give him in life. You must see it to believe it. I brought a gift from the Raven Clan. I stored it at the watchtower on the far side of Hemthorpe. Very kind, thank you. I should like to see it. I should look over the gift first. It must be worthy of Heming Ayal. There's a heaviness to your look, Eivor. What troubles you? Himminger desired my counsel before he died. Wanted my opinion on the future of this clan's leadership. That would be Vili, would it not? If tradition held, yes. Trikvi has tasked me to help the Volva with the sacrifices. Could we speak with her to ease your thoughts? It is a good idea, but let me go alone. Set scouts around the village. The people here must mourn in safety. An impressive shield. It is good, but it needs a touch of grandeur. Something personal for your father. A sigil, I think. A mark to adorn the front. We need an artisan. Is there one in the village? I know a man. A master craftsman in exile. He lives in a cave northeast of Hemsop. I would take you there myself, but I have Isbjorn to retrieve. Isbjorn? Your father's spear? Did he not wield it at Ulkethorpe? He lost it some winters back on a bear hunt. 
He hit the beast hard, but the spear stuck and the bear fled into the forest. And after all these winters, you hope to find it again and present it to the pyre. The odds are narrow, to say the least. <laughs> Fret not, friend. I have a nose for these things. Seek out the exile. He'll see to your shield. You're a difficult man to find. Uh. Heming Ayal is dead. Mm. I was told you're a master craftsman. I seek an etching on the shield to celebrate the life and death of Heming Ayal. The stones. Heming Ayal possessed a steady hand and steady heart. Do you possess the same? is not yet steady. How could it be at such a time? Heming Jarl's heart never wavered. Yes, Heminger's heart was as steady as it was large. You've not yet answered me. Will you help me with my etching? How will you remember him? By his wisdom, always an inspiration. The web of Wirthen. Nine lines that write our fates. Past, present, and future entwined. Is this what you desire? Still need to consider. By his unrivaled prowess on the battlefield. Ah, Gunknir then. Odin's faultless spear, a symbol of power. Is this your choice? I still need to consider. By his determination to keep his clan safe and his people celebrated. The mark of vague Visir. Sides never lost. Is this your decision? Yes, I choose this one. I will begin. How did you come to be here? Fate. I was given a death sentence. Unfairly, I felt. But a man was killed. Heming a Jarl desired for me to live. The villagers did not. My sight and exile. That was our compromise. Thank you for this. His son will take his place? That is for Vili to decide. Vili has no say. Fate has already decided. You are the wolf-kissed one. The raven of battle whose fame grows with each waxing of the moon. I struggle with the choice Heminger left for me. I would have your counsel on the matter. A slaughter must be made. Many sheep at the bottom of the sleeping Jutten. Before the pyre is lit. Follow. Ayal, is it truly you? Of spirit, not of flesh. Why have you not reached Odin's hall? I 
life will in time. As the flames of my pyre burn, I will ride the path of wood smoke to the All Father's Hall of Champions. I am grateful to see you once more, Jarl. A struggle with the task you set before me. To choose your heir is not an easy thing. One man is beloved, but does not want the task. The other man is fit for the task, but is not favored. I could not give you any more counsel in life, A4. So too in death am I rendered silent. Forget wise counsel and rational arguments. What does your heart tell you? My heart is stopped. It says nothing. This should not be my decision, Hemminger. The choice was always yours to make. You were their chief. As Sigurd is your chief. But that does not quench your appetite for glory as you covet his place upon the high seat of your clan. I do not seek to replace Sigurd. Fate weaved our futures long ago. We're only following its pattern. Yet you see it coming. You welcome it. Shall I renounce my fate then? Abandon the path to glory I walk? No. I want you to die in defense of it. You pushed me, Hemminger. I never intended this. <laughs> have no regrets, Eifor. You have given me the great battle death I sought in life. You old fox. Was that the point of riling me up? Did you consult the Volvo? And were your questions answered? Some questions were answered. Others I must answer myself. Do you think there is a place for Vili in our settlement? He expressed a desire to live and work with us. Will he not be Jarl of this Shire before the day's end? That remains to be seen. Some are more eager to see Tryggvi in the high seat. Eivor, Tryggvi has no intention to lead. He feels duty-bound to follow his master into death. Absolutely not. My father would never allow such foolishness. How else can I honor my Jarl? old as I am. This is no country for me. The future is yours, Vili. The frames of this pyre will burn for my father. You must live. I forbid you to follow him into death. I will not let you sacrifice yourself. Do you forbid me as a friend, Vili? Or as our new Jarl? As a man who would see you come to your senses. Vili. Trikvi. Each man wears one of Hemminger's boots, with both men unwilling to seize the other. Does the world need such useless, dithering men? Why not stake a claim yourself? Take this shire of your own. It is not my place. Your place is anywhere you lay your head, any hill you summit, any silver you take for your own. Do not limit yourself to niceties. Snottinghamshire deserves a leader to admire. A man the people can trust. Most love Vili, and he loves them. But he lacks the will to be leader. He could learn. But does he wish to? And Trikvi, sturdy and wise, and loyal to the legacy Hemminger Jarl left behind. Almost to a fault. But he is old, and 
his thrill for living has fled him. Hardly inspiring. You cannot! I will not allow it! I am not asking for your permission. Only your forgiveness. Gods, Eivor! Put a stop to this fool's death wish! This is no small decision, Trikvi. And not without great cost. The Shire will be diminished without you. But I... I have nobody left. My life's purpose lies dead upon that pyre. That is not so. When people look to my father for guidance, who did they see him turn to for counsel? Heminger Jarl was my rock. Yes, I gave him counsel, but he made the hard choices. If Heminger were here, would he not urge you to wield this wisdom for the betterment of all? And was your vow to serve Heminger Jarl unto death, or to serve his legacy and life? I will stay. You have wisdom, Eivor. More than I could have guessed. Eivor! <gasps> Suniva! Pits were spotted moments ago, lurking in the thicket. Ville gave chase. Arsh stick. You should have roused me first. Show me where he went. Let us wake the others. The dark is lousing with pits. I can take them on myself. Tell me where. They're not far. I'll show you. Ah, my sword's thunder hammer. That quickened the blood. Wild and reckless, like our first battles together. Remember the island north of Stavanger? I do. Kjertve the Cruel trained his berserkers there. Great lumbering fools foaming at the mouth. We taunted them from the treetops. <laughs> and the drunk one, remember? Naked as the morning. Froze his cock off trying to find us. Then fell to humping a snowdrift. <laughs> <laughs> If you are now leading your clan. Well, you have your answer. I'd sooner take after a troll and leave this clan in your hands. That I will not do. <sighs> when my father was named Jarl, he had no one to help him, and still he triumphed. I am not my father. I... I simply want to roam. Do you think Slipnir would be content bound to a stable? No matter how glorious it may be. Hey! What is that for? You have friends, Vili. What about Trikvi? Me? And your clan? Of course. I know that. You can't roam forever. Keep that in mind. You are surrounded by those who love you. And that will not change. Unless you push it all away. You... You speak a truth, I understand. Troll-faced Arstic. <laughs> a chicken draugr! Is such a thing possible? For that does not seem possible. Voda too. A water infused with fire. I do not lie. <laughs> Your father's death aside, Billy. This has been... good. Fun even. 
Do you ever wonder what might have happened if we had not been separated by the North Sea so early in our lives? What adventures we would have had. The raids, the battles, the glory. I even think about what we might have been to each other. I have, fondly, and often enough that it sometimes seemed you never left. Maybe you never did. I... I want you, Eivor. Your warmth. Your touch. Really? No. That will not happen, I'm sorry. Get some rest, eh? Are you going? So much on my mind, I haven't slept a wink. The funeral, the thanes... I should get back. I understand. I'll see you there. Eivor... My father sets forth on his final voyage. May the winds favor him. The nobles have offered up their funeral gifts. All but you. Present what you have, and the celebration may begin. I have it here. Council, you were the wisest. At the hearth, the kindest. In battle, the bravest. May the sign of Vegavisir, the rune of the way, guide you to the hall of many doors. Stand at my side. Speak from your heart, Hemingerson. Today we mourn the passing of Heminger Jarl of Nottinghamshire. My father. Our father. He was a towering force. A strength to fear and admire. Now gone. Yet together we are the example of his greatness. I see him in each of you. His love for battle, but also peace. For wisdom, sorrow, and joy. His generosity. His spirit. In you I see his life. And his love of drink. Gods, did he love drink! <laughs> we are these things because he was these things. Father, we shall be to our children what you were to us. And when they are ready, we will meet you again.
Give him a fine farewell. Sunhua, ride to Hemford and prepare the longhouse for the Althing. The next Jarl will soon take his seat. Eivor! You look uneasy. Burdened by grief. Drowning in mead. And paralyzed by a sword. I stand between that man and Hjaldum. You stand side by side, Vili. One of you must step forward. My father placed us side by side, because he trusted your vision. So what do you see? I see a Dringer before me, a man who yearns for the glory of battle. Trigve should be Jarl, and you, you should follow your own path, wherever it may lead. Off a cliff and into the ocean, if that is what you need. <laughs> you know how to ruin a good moment, Wolfgist. Some time ago, you asked about living with us, as one of our war band. Is that something you still want? To raid with you and Bragi? Gods, yes. Imagine the blood and mead we would spill. For old times, then, and new alike. Watch the look on the old man's face when he hears what we have planned. I stand before you as Willy Hemminger's son, but not as a Jarl. There is only one man with the needed honor and wisdom. Only one man my father deemed worthy of following him. Trygvi, Jarl of Snottingham. May you walk proudly in Hemminger's path. What is this? Old friend, you deserve this. And so much more. Be proud. My future is elsewhere, Trigvi. I will go with Eivor to live and fight beside the Raven clan. I... I do not know what to say. Say yes. Yes. Thank you, Vili. Eivor. Well done, Arstic. Until my path leads me home, I serve under your banner, Eivor. Eivor, let my first decree be Hemminger's wish, an alliance between our people. When you call, we will rise. As we shall for you, Trigvial. I bring fair tidings, Ranvi. Himminger Jarl in Snottinghamshire has passed, but his clan remains allied to us. Sad news, but you made the best of it. I saw my old friend Vili on my visit. He has now joined our clan and will serve as a raider on my ship. I remember the young man. He will make a fine addition to your crew.